All right, here goes nothing. Water fill, water fill, water fill, water fill, water fill. Oh my god. On November 30th, 2022, the world changed forever. Artificial intelligence, or AI, became accessible to the general public for free. And this happened because of a little thing called ChatGPT. What is it again? ChatGPT. 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 Chat Chat artificial intelligence is getting more and more powerful every single day. It's starting to be actual professionals at chess, poker, video games, and camel racing? And can only do two things. Talk to the camel and whip the camel. Yes, believe it or not, that is a robot on a camel's back, controlling it in a camel race. I didn't even know they raced camels. I have so many questions. So it got me thinking, if artificial intelligence can beat humans in very advanced activities like chess, could it beat humans in something as advanced as trading in the stock market? Which, if you really sit down and think about it, there are multiple reasons why AI would be better than humans at trading. And other things. Speed and efficiency. AI can analyze vast amounts of financial data in the matter of seconds. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Which a human obviously can't do. AIs have no emotion. Unlike a human, AIs don't experience emotions such as fear, greed, or excitement. Which, when trading, those types of emotions cloud your judgment and lead to poor trading decisions. Another reason? AIs don't need sleep. They can trade 24 hours every single day. Which, obviously, we cannot do. I mean... I need my beauty sleep, you know? Then finally, consistency. And this is the big one. One of the hardest parts about trading is sticking to a set trading plan. For one reason or another, we've all diverged from our trading plan at least once. Whether that's moving a stop loss, entering early, exiting late, whatever it is, you've probably done it. The thing about AI, it will always stick to that trading plan no matter what. So I wanted to put it to the test. I coded a trading bot from scratch with all the trading knowledge I've learned from the past eight years of trading. I coded everything I know into this bot. The ability to read market structure, momentum, volume, level two data, everything. I basically wanted to create me and my trading style and how I personally would trade into a little baby robot. This bot will automatically enter, exit, and make every single trading decision for me while I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on my couch watching AI camel racing. So I wanted to know what would happen if I put $30,000 into a brand new trading account and completely left the bot alone and let it trade for me for one week. Could I actually make money on autopilot or would I lose the $30,000 within seconds? Now, I had to make some rules for this video. I'm not allowed to interfere with this account at all. I can't help the bot trade in any way. All I can do is turn on the bot and let it trade. It's kind of like a game show. I'm gonna call it, does this AI strategy really work? Or is it a money loser game show? By trading life. So the code we're going to be using for the AI is from my own personal private indicator from tradinglab.ai. Now my indicator is only available on MetaTrader 5, which is a charting platform. And to be honest, it's probably one of the worst looking charting platforms out there. That's absolutely disgusting. Like it literally looks like it's 2001 Excel. So you may be asking, why the f are using this absolute abomination of a charting platform? Well, there's one specific reason why I like MetaTrader so much, and that reason is they make it extremely easy to connect bots to automatically trade for you. Because normally, you would need to code an indicator, have that indicator send its signals to a trading bot, then have that bot send its signals to a stock trading API, and have that API execute the orders. Which, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, this may sound slightly easy. Let me tell you, it's not. Which, I'm gonna be completely honest, coding all of this is probably the worst thing on planet Earth. Probably worse than watching the Kardashians for eight hours straight. His whole life and I feel bad for him. I feel sad. I feel bad for the guy. I changed his whole life and he fell in love with me and I fell in love with him and now my feelings have changed. You don't think I feel bad that I invited all these on MetaTrader, they make it really easy to do it. You essentially connect what's called an EA, which stands for Expert Advisor, which is basically another word for bot. I guess it sounds more professional though. Oh, indubitably. I'll have my Expert Advisor take care of it. Anyways, 
As long as you have the indicator or whatever is providing the signals, connecting it to a broker is infinitely times easier on MetaTrader than creating it manually. So that's the main reasoning for why we are using MetaTrader. So it's quite simple actually. After I have the EA set up, every time my indicator gives a buy signal, the EA will note that, send an execution order to my broker, my broker will then buy it. Then once the indicator gives a sell signal, the broker will automatically sell it, completing the trade. Pretty simple. So now that we know what code I'm using, how I'm going to use that code to automatically trade for me, we move to the next step, which is funding my brand new account. When I thought of this video idea, I was originally just going to trade with $1,000. But if you're watching this video now, you'll see the title says I gave the AI $30,000. Hmm, weird, right? So how did I go from $1,000 to $30,000? Because of these little f let me explain. So my indicator gives both long trades and short trades, which if you don't know, long trades you make money as the chart is going up, short trades you make money as the market is going down. In order to short stocks, you need to be able to use margin, which is borrowing money from your broker. I am once again asking for your financial support. And I completely forgot there's the stupidest rule on planet Earth that the SEC made called the pattern day trading rule, which is basically in order to use both margin and do more than three consecutive day trades a week, I need a margin account, which if I want a margin account, I need to add at least 25,000 or more into this account. So I ended up putting $30,000 in, so I had some wiggle room. I went from wanting to only put $1,000 to putting $30,000, which which means this AI strategy goes terribly wrong, well, pray for me. So now that I realize this rule, all I have to do is fund $30,000 into my trading account. I feel like this is a great time to talk about today's sponsor. Hanker Trade. Hanker Trade is who I personally use as a Forex broker. It's kind of funny because I used them way before they asked to sponsor me. So when they did, I frantically said yes. They are overall just a really good Forex broker. Low fees, low spreads, easy to use platform. And one of the main reasons why I like them so much is because they are one of the few brokers you can hook up directly to the EA I was talking about before on MetaTrader. So they make it really easy to set up automatic trading bots. If you use the link in my description, they will match whatever you first apply. Deposit. So if you deposit, say, $100, they will give you $100. Thank you, Hanker Trade, for sponsoring this video. I love you. All right, so the account is now funded, but we ran into a slight issue. If you've ever watched one of my videos before, I always say time and time again to never follow the private indicator blindly by just following the signals, which is essentially exactly what we're about to do. There are multiple reasons for why this is not a good idea. One being if the market is super bearish and is falling, the indicator still might give you a long entry buy signal, which as we all know is a big no-no. So what I usually always recommend is using the indicator as more of a tool rather than blindly following it. Use the trend table provides, use the order blocks, the smart money concepts, and all the other features. And use them as tools to help you make trading decisions rather than it making the trading decisions for you. Also, why is there a plunger in this photo? So if the bot is trading for us, that means it's blindly following the signals, which is kind of a bummer. And I kind of thought that would ruin the whole video if I was helping it make decisions on which specific signals to put more weight on. So I had to do some brainstorming. You may be an open book, SpongeBob, but I'm a bit more complicated than that. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Because the indicator can't really read market sentiment by itself. That is, until now. You see, I added a feature that you can manually or automatically adjust the market sentiment. So for example, if for some reason you think the market is gonna be very bearish that week because of rising interest rates, bad economic news, a war is breaking out, or Donald Trump made another tweet, you can just go to the indicator settings and say the market sentiment is bearish, which then the indicator will automatically give you less long trades and more short trades, giving the short trades more weight during this period. If you said the market sentiment 
limit is bullish, it'll show you more long trades compared to short trades. Adding just this one little tool to the indicator has greatly increased the profitability of it, at least when it comes to just blindly following it. And it also makes me feel way more comfortable letting the bot follow signals blindly with $30,000 on the line. As I'm editing this now, it's now Saturday, and I plan to start the seven day challenge on Monday. But to be honest, I have no idea what's about to happen, and I'm kind of scared. No, I'm really scared. Like. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna make a lot of money? Am I gonna lose a lot of money? Is something gonna happen wrong with the bot? Like anything could happen. It'd be pretty cool to see if the bot can make money completely on its own without me doing absolutely any work because it's almost kind of my baby and it would be like a proud dad moment. Like imagine if you birthed a baby and made that baby go into work for you as you watched AI camel racing and it came home every single day with a bag. Like that's the type of life I wanna live. So as the clock ticked down, I got more and more anxious of what was about to happen. Then Monday morning came. I woke up at 6.30, went to my computer, and set the parameters for each trade. For one, I made it so the bot can't go above $5,000 for any single trade. Two, it'll only be trading stocks. I gave it a list of 10 stocks to choose from. Three, it's gonna be using the three hour time frame for its signals, as that's the time frame that performed the best in the back test results. Once the parameters were entered, I nervously started the bot. And then something crazy happened. Absolutely nothing. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I waited for about four hours and the bot didn't take one single trade. The reasoning behind this was because we were using the three hour time frame and that ended up being a mistake, at least for this experiment, because we weren't getting a lot of signals, so the bot wasn't making a lot of trades. So I decided to make the bold and rash decision to change the time frame completely to the one hour time frame. One hour. Yeah. I also looked at the chart history, and if we were going to do the one hour time frame for a week period, the bot would only take around 10 trades. So I decided I would now change the time period to one month of testing, just so we can better understand this experiment and get a lot more trades in to see if this thing actually works. Which is kind of crazy, because a lot can happen in one month, and that's a lot of time to purely let a bot trade. So changing it from one week of testing to one month makes me feel even more nervous. But okay, I set the bot to trade on the one hour time frame and completely left it alone for one whole month. <laughs> All right guys, it's been one month. I started this bot on January 17th and it is now February 18th and the results are in. As I'm talking right now, I'm looking at the balance. I'm still in absolute shock. So the bot traded 10 different stocks, Apple, Google, Microsoft, AMD, Nvidia, Tesla, Disney, Amazon, Visa, Costco. And one of these gave some pretty interesting results. Can you guess which one it was? That's a little foreshadowing. First, we'll start with Apple. So just so you guys know what the signals mean, a green arrow means a long entry. These ones and twos are take profits. If you see a green X, that means the bot exited, but it was a losing trade. It's the same thing with shorts. Red arrow means entry. Ones and twos are take profits. Red X means the bot exited, but it was a losing trade. So how did the bot do for the very first trade it took? The very first trade to set the momentum for this whole experiment. It was a loss. Yeah, it lost money. It tried entering a short and it looked like it miscalculated a bit. It printed this red X, which means it exited the short and hit our stop loss. Great start. And this loss was a 2.3% loss, which means with a $5,000 entry makes this a $115 loss. I could have bought 10 Chipotle burritos with that money. But if you look a little bit closer, something interesting happened. Right as the bot exited the short, it also entered into a long. And this long actually ended up being a winning trade for a 3.5% win, making all of our money back plus $60. So now we're in the profit, baby. As we move throughout the month, the bot took four more trades on Apple, totaling six trades, four being winners and two being losers. The bot actually did exceptionally well on Apple, as if we total up all the percentages it made, it made a whopping 5.85% profit for the month and 
<clears throat> this is just for Apple, which is absolutely insane. I'm so proud. But since we set a max of $5,000 per trade for risk management purposes, this 5.85% isn't 5.85% of 30,000, it's 5.85% of 5,000, which is $292.50. <laughs> At least we're making money, right? 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 Next, we move on to Google. For Google, we took a total of three trades, two being winners, one being a loser. It ended up being a great dub as we made a total of 6.9% for the month, making $345. Not too shabby. On to the next one, Microsoft. Microsoft was an interesting one, purely because the bot took the most amount of trades on Microsoft. So the bot took a total of seven trades, five being winners, two being losers. Just to get a little bit more in depth, for one of the losses, the bot entered a long up here, but it took a little profit before it hit the stop loss. So the loss ended up not being as bad. After all the trades it took, it profited a staggering 13.25%, making a total of 660 $62.50. Our next candidate was Tesla. If you know anything about Tesla, it's extremely volatile. And as this test was running, I was watching this one live a lot because most of the winners and losers were super big, so it was very nerve-wracking watching it live. Tesla took a total of 5 trades and profited 24.2% during this month, making a total of $1,210. What I'm talking about. Yeah. Our next ticker was AMD, and AMD was kind of a heartbreaker. It actually was the bot's biggest loser, having a total of three trades, two being losses. It totaled a 3% loss, losing $150. Now, I don't want this video to be extremely long, so I'll just quickly go over the rest of the ticker symbols. Feel free to pause the video if you want to see any specific trades. Nvidia, six trades, four wins, two losses, 8.9% profit, profiting $445. Disney, three trades, three wins, zero losses, 8.5% profit, profiting $425. Amazon, seven trades, three wins, four losses, 3.63% profit, profiting $181.50. Visa, two trades, one win, one loss, 1% 1 loss, losing $55. Costco, five trades, four wins, one loss, 7.6% gain, profiting $380. But there are some major points we have to go over. Now, I want to be extremely, extremely clear. One, I think we could have done a lot better if, again, we were using the bot as more of a tool rather than just blindly following it. But at the same time, it's pretty cool to have something like this run completely in the background by itself. So after totaling all of the trades, the bot took a total of 47 trades in one month out of those 47, 31 were wins, 16 were losses. In the moment you've all been waiting for, the bot made a total of $3,736.50. Taking our account total from $30,000 to $33,736.50. In one month of trading, completely on its own, without me touching it at all. Which is still mind-blowing to me. The bot made a total of 74.73% during the month, so if we didn't put the $5,000 cap per trade and used all $30,000, dollars for every single trade, we would have made $22,419 in a month without doing any work, which is kind of sickening. But even with that said, I think doing this over, I would still put the cap just for risk management purposes, because if you're using all of your capital for every single trade, you could easily blow up an account if you got on a loss streak. So yeah, I think this experiment was a massive success. After doing this, it really opened my eyes to the potential of what this bot can actually do. In no way is it perfect, but this has kind of inspired me to work more on the automated features and signals to make it perform even better. Because I honestly do think automation is the future of trading, and if you're early to the game, there's some serious potential for profits. So maybe I'll keep this bot running in the background for a year or so, and let you guys know what ends
ends up happening on my Instagram and keep you guys updated. If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? But I seriously could not be any more proud with the results this bot produced. If you guys want to check out the private indicator for yourself, you can go to tradinglab.ai. I'll put a link in my description. If you made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you. This video took me 37 days to make, which is the longest I've ever worked on a video. Because you made it to the end, here's a coupon for the indicator. I'll make it. AI is sexy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. One hour, yeah.